president or some of the people around him will realize that his administration is far from a fine-tuned machine. It's a slow-motion disaster machine that the American people see in action every day. Now on women's health. Madam President, today the Senate Judiciary Committee will hold a hearing on a sham bill that would further restrict women's access to care. Every woman, every family in America should shudder at Republicans' campaign to take away the rights of women to make decisions about their own health just to satisfy a hard right radical agenda that the vast majority of Americans completely disagree with. The bill would unduly restrict women's rights to make their own health decisions. Dr. Jennifer Conti, a clinical assistant professor in OB of OBGYN at Stanford, described the 20 week mark set by this bill as, quote, just an arbitrary limit set by politicians that has no medical or scientific backing. Let me repeat, an arbitrary limit set in place by politicians. Politicians making decisions about women's health. That's what's wrong here. What's more, a 20-week ban is arguably unconstitutional. Just two weeks ago, a federal judge in North Carolina ruled that it was. We know the 20-week ban is just a start among those who want to take away women's rights. They'll, want, they'll, they'll try to go for a 10-week ban, then a six-week ban, part of a radical, relentless effort to completely and unequivocally strip, strip women of their right to make their own health care decisions. The rhetoric we'll hear from Republicans in this hearing will be much of the same we've heard for years. Whether it's the vote we took here in the Senate or a new law protecting rights in my home state of New York, Republicans have repeatedly used scare tactics and falsehoods to mislead the public. Yet, these are nothing but scare tactics. Don't take my word for it. Time and time again, fact checkers have ruled Republican rhetoric on these issues to be outright false. Let's be clear, across the country, the reproductive women of women's rights are under attack. Republicans in state houses across the country are forcing the, through radical proposals that would dramatically limit women's rights to make their own choices. In Mississippi, in Georgia, in Kentucky, this is a threat to women in all 50 states, not just in those three. It's dangerously out of step with the American people. The Trump administration's even imposing a gag rule on health care providers to stop them from discussing the full range of options with women considering an abortion. They are literally preventing doctors from doing their job. It's illogical, intrusive, and hypocritical that Republicans in Washington would tell a doctor what he or she can or cannot say to a patient in a private medical conversation. I've been around here long enough to remember when Republicans were preaching that government should never become, come between a patient and his or her doctor. Why the change? Since taking office, President Trump and his Republican colleagues have repeatedly prioritized restricting women's reproductive freedoms and strategically placed obstacles in the way of accessing the health care they deserve. Donald Trump and our Republican friends believe they know better than American women. That's wrong, and American women totally disagree. But while Republicans across the country push these proposals, they look the other way when President Trump proposes cutting programs that help newborns and young children. The President wants to cut Medicaid by more than a trillion. That provides health care coverage for 37 million children. He wants to eliminate programs that support emergency medical health services for children, that, that address autism and developmental disorders. I hope my Republican colleagues will join us instead of slipping down this ra radical, ideological, 